hey guys welcome back to the channel it's a girl bella if you're new please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your post notification for more videos to come now today is going to be another diy video where um i'm gonna switch out the factory speaker that come that came with the car i'm gonna upgrade the speakers to these so these are I think they're called Lego Car Hi-Fi. I mean, they're an eBay brand. Um, I read the reviews on them on eBay and they seem pretty good. They're pretty good than the factory that what comes in the car. And um, and also one of my speakers, one of my door speakers went out. So I'm hearing like a lot of distortion when I'm playing music because I have an um, upgraded amplifier and sound processor. All the works in my car, so. My car sounds really good when I'm playing music. So um, one of the speakers went out. So I'm gonna upgrade to these. I'm at my friend's house, um, Omar, that um, insta installed the the tailgate sill the last time. If you guys watched my previous video, go ahead and watch that previous video. And also, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys, because um, you guys are watching my videos, but you guys are not subscribing. Please, I'm trying to get to a thousand. Um, video i'm gonna try to get to like a thousand subscriber by by the end of april so i really do appreciate it if you guys subscribe also like and also share so um the installation is about to come up right now he's actually working on somebody else's car so as soon as he's done he's gonna um install these speakers in my car so um i'm gonna let you guys hear how it sounds and if you want to purchase these for your bmw x5 I'm gonna leave the description in below. Um, I'm gonna leave the description and I'm gonna leave the link, I'm sorry, in the description box below. So you can go ahead and make this purchase. So stay tuned for the installation. My yacht. Omar, we had the new set of This is a this is the installer right here, Omar. He's gonna um so did an installation for me. Yeah, these are his brethren. Omar. <laughs> He's working on his car. Oh. Omar, where are you? Install a radio? No, I'm taking out a CD that's stuck. Oh, so he's basically taking out a CD that's stuck inside the inside the radio. He's pretty good at what he does. He's the best. That's why I got me. What's about the install right there? Hello? Yes, so 18. Okay. Yes, so come check the boss. You, know? you see? You wanna come check the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna lie down, but that's I'm carrying about take them out. Why tell them out? What, what, what happened? Then give me a better one for put it on my car and the sound way better than them. Then. Nah man, this cheap on it, yo, it's bad. No, it? trust me, ask no, them. Trust no, you me. know. Make yo, make it better tell you about on my talk about. Make it better tell you about. Why well, I me mean, not a problem with this man? So I'm gonna go to the battle. And it loads. Yeah, no, me no. Vice clear on it loud, but I mean, got no problem. What is the 10 inch mid range? Yeah, you have a box? You can put it in or no? Come on, I'm gonna build a box here. No, 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 just a regular. Oh, but just basically, I'm gonna the CD came out. Let me see the CD. Oh, so that CD was stuck inside of there. See, he's the boss, he's pretty good at what he does. What is it? Um, hmm? No. So this is his project car. It's a mini. I don't know what he's doing to it. I think um the callover, something is wrong with the callovers. He's trying to fix the callovers. But this mini looks nice. I think he might be selling this mini soon, so Whatever time he's, whenever time he's selling it, I'm gonna definitely um, let you guys know. So if you guys want to purchase this mini, you can hit him up. This is how inside the mini looks. Omar, what are you doing to this mini? You gonna lower it? Well, it's lower, but you wanna go lower? That's it. So you already lowered already? Okay, that's good. I just need to finish this side and that's it. And that's it. Okay, cool. Little other there. Alright. Okay, so we're about to start the installation. So his recommendation is um just to just change the two rear 
don't do the front because the front is working properly so if you ever heard it saying if it's not broken don't fix it so um so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave the front and just do the the rear and um see how that works so now he's about to take off the panels so the first trim you got to remove when you're taking off the panel is that one then you remove this piece How many screws are one? How many? Three. You got three screws in the door handle. You gotta remove. Huh? One more Oh yeah, one more. And you have one more screw under the bottom. So you gotta make sure you get that screw under the bottom of the door before you remove this trim piece. Got it? You need much more space for your video because you're not gonna see much. Huh? I said you needed more space. But yeah. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around inside the car mm -hmm. and read it from inside the car. So now I'm inside the car where it's much better. Okay, there you go. It's a better angle. Gentle with this, yeah. Oh my, you're strongy. Oh my god. <laughs> you get, well, you're, you're gentle with it. Oh. You have to open. You have to. That feel. That felt like I felt that just now. Like it doesn't break my whole shit. Uh, nah. Nah. Well, there you go, guys. So the door is this off. Is the first time the door. I mean, open, so. he pulled a lot of these cars down, so. Taking out back here. Taking out the taking out the connectors. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So where we are is kind of like tight. So you might, I might, you might not see everything, but it's just the connectors back there. The door can, um, the window connector and the speaker connector. You just gotta remove and remove the door. So now the speaker is the speaker is exposed. So this is a speaker that's bad. It's distorted. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. These are four-inch speakers. Yeah, they play really loud. Yeah, this is. This, it's messed up. It's messed up. Yeah. All right. So the technician says messed up. So definitely, it's distorted. So now we gotta change it. The speakers on the um. Is on the man. See this where the thing come in. Um, All right. It might not fit. It will, but the whole this whole thing is the speaker. Oh, remember, you I, you remember I was asking if you might have to build. Um, not build. I have to destroy this speaker. Okay, it's fine. I think that's what most people do, anyways. I wish you had gotten the whole thing. I'm not looking sitting down. Oh, just slide in. 
Tapos bam bam. Bam bam, ano. My amplifier mine. Mm. And it play better than the 10 inch I'm putting on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these speakers play, they play really good. Okay guys, so take into consideration if you're gonna buy this speaker right here, you're gonna have to what you're gonna have to do, Omar? You gotta remove the speaker from inside that the yeah, housing. Yeah. You gotta basically break it. Yep. And it's kinda messed up right now. Oh, if it's right in. So you have to do some cutting, right? Mm -hmm. Now he's about to do some cutting. <laughs> I'm just gonna show only one door installation because I'm not gonna show both doors because the other door is gonna be the same. Alright, so I'm gonna show, like I said, I'm gonna show one door installation because the other door is gonna be the same. So I don't wanna make this video too long and you know, I mean, and, and bore you guys. Okay, so the speaker's out. Okay, so what tool is that you using? Dremel. Okay. So you gotta use that tool. The car getting dirty? It's fine. So he's using that tool to widen right here so the speaker could fit flush inside. So what this he bag? What, so what he saw somebody else's car and like it? There's some glasses, a pack of glasses in there, huh? He always like everybody's car. No, I'm show him one picture on one car. Oh, okay. So I'm saying think him see it yesterday. Oh. Shit man. Yeah, the momo and finish. Gift bag, the glasses that they pant up. They're on the table. It's a gift bag, pretty, pretty bag. Oh. 
little bit more and that's it. Okay. Safety measures. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I can't afford for you to get blind. <laughs> Safety first, right? Safety first. So now what are we doing? Making a hole so we could pull the wire through. Okay. So he's not going to use the existing um, connector that's inside here. He's going to make his own hole so he can run the wire through. These fuckers don't give us no... Why do they? don't give us no connectors? Wow. So uh, it can work? Yeah, it can. We have to go make it work. Oh, you're talking about connectors to connect um, just a... To this, it was supposed to be... Like a tool thing right. that you plug to, to the speaker, but there's none. This may have been a problem, you know? Okay, okay guys, FYI, for, so this is a lot of work, as you guys can see. So um, I recommend if you're gonna upgrade, you can upgrade if you want, but sometimes they do sell the speakers that come with the whole housing and everything you just can take out and replace. This, we gotta make holes and we gotta do a lot, okay? So if you're gonna get these speakers, that's what you're gonna have to do. So are you going to be tapping into the wire? Yeah. You have to. See, now he has to tap into the wire. Time to get chilly. Mm -hmm. so I don't understand. How did they give you don't worry about the, it. the thing that you were supposed to get? Don't worry about it. I got it. I'm just hoping these speaker songs go. Mm -hmm. I think we should just change this one. Because the review, on the reviews, you know, mm -hmm. the speaker, they. A lot of people said the reviews, the speakers sound good, so. So he's going to have to solder the wires together so it don't move. He ran, he ran the wire through the hole that he made. One more thing. Oh, there's a under the table. There's a clear box, right? As you go this way, 
with screws and stuff. You can't see them inside. So basically, and then you run that piece to the speaker, and then you connect the blue piece back into the door. Um. Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is a lot of work. I thought it would have been one, two, three, right? If you had this. If I had that, if I had the frame. That's the whole speaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they saw, yeah. BMW so, does make everything difficult. No, it's not difficult. That's their thing. You go too far. It's under the table here, right at the front. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Look under the table now. Yes. So he's soldering the wire to the speaker. Because we don't have no connectors, so. That's where you want, no. Oh. Hold on. This is better anyway because it's not gonna come out. It's not gonna. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> So now, I'm gonna kill the screws. So what are we doing now? Yeah, I see. You see, <laughs> see that it pierced the hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't put your finger there. <laughs> Okay, so see why he's the best? He's working magic. So we only could use three screws. Huh? Only three screws. Only three screws? That's what BMW does. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So you want to test it to make sure it works? Mm -hmm. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Test it to see if it works, but yeah, you could go. You could turn the car. Because I'm over here. So we're going to test it to make sure the speaker works. It should work. Switch it to radio. I think it's on... Um... Hey, everybody. Crazy rap to up. Down, but I'm just putting two up, yeah, chucking yeah, up the deuce now. Okay. Yeah, so he's working, guys. Bro, that's one of the best speakers that they could ever make. Mm -hmm. Mine is amplified. I have a, a 1000, 1004 on mine. All right, so now he's gonna put back the panels and stuff. The speakers installed, so he's gonna put back the panels. So basically, guys, so that's how you install this, the door speakers. So these, these speakers are very tedious. There's a lot of cutting, soldering, and all that stuff to do. So I mean, if you buy the OEM, so it's best if you buy the OEM or if you want to go that route. But if you're gonna go this route, I recommend a specialist to do it, or you can do it yourself if you have the necessary tools. 
So now he's just putting back everything together. And he's going to do the other side, but that's just how you install the speakers. I'm not going to video the other side. It doesn't really make sense. Because I want to make this video as short as possible. Yeah, a piece for this Omar, right? The silver piece? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's how it comes. That's black. That's the black. Them is silver. silver. Yeah, black people in everything, you know? <laughs> Okay guys, so that's why you replace the door back. So you have to be rough, you can't be gentle. Because there are clips. And the door has to catch the clips. What else do you need? So you're gonna put the screw backs in, right? Okay, guys, so remember the screw under the bottom. There's a screw under the bottom, so don't forget that screw. Now we're going to put the trim pieces back. so that speaker is in oh god let me come out the car okay guys so that completes the installation um for the speaker so i recommend if you're gonna go the route i went you might as well get it professionally installed as you can see it's a lot of work it's a lot of soldering and cutting because some of the um the clips weren't included in the package so if you want to go that route, you can go that route, but get it professionally installed. If you have the tools, you can do it yourself or just replace it with a factory speaker. It's a plug and play and um, that's, that's it. But again, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Also guys, follow me on Instagram at Yadi at 15 where you can get sneak peek before I actually post the videos on YouTube. So that's Yadi at 15. I'm going to leave it somewhere on the screen so you can go ahead and follow me also on Instagram. And also guys, please subscribe. Like I said, I see you guys watching, but you guys are not subscribing. Please like, share this video and leave a comment in the section below. I answer all my comments and I read I read everything that you guys um you guys say. Again, thanks again. Peace. I'm out. See you guys later.